Welcome back to our channel everyone. This week we're excited to have you join us on our adventure as we dive into Fushifaru Resort here in the beautiful Maldives. We're going to guide you through the incredible experiences this resort has to offer. Get ready for a private sandbank picnic, dive into the insane marine life in the underwater playground and check out the luxurious villas you can call home. They've got a variety of villas to choose from on the island from beach villas to water villas, with the added bonus of having a jacuzzi or a pool. The morning began with a delightful 30-minute seaplane journey all the way from the airport, offering picturesque views throughout. Upon arrival, the welcome we experienced was absolutely fantastic. It truly set the tone for an exceptional start to the day. Welcome to another George and Sam video. So we just arrived at Fushifaru. This is a five-star resort here in the Maldives. So we thought the first thing we need to show you guys is this stunning villa we'll be staying at. So this is the Sunrise Beach Villa with a pool. So let's jump right in. So, the first area we are starting with is this pool area. How stunning is this pool behind you? You've got privacy, you've got direct beach access, so we'll be spending a lot of time here. And then on this side, you'll see that you have a lounging chair right here. And then you can have your morning coffee outside here on the deck. Let's hear it. So the first thing you see when you enter the villa is this setup we have right here. So we've got some complimentary champagne, we've got welcoming uh, snacks and then a fruit platter which we will be enjoying a bit later. And then on this side, here in the corner you'll find all the amenities. You have um, your spirits, your water, there is wine as well and then your coffee machine. It depends which meal plan you're on. If you are on all inclusive, everything is included and replaced daily. And if you're on full board, you've got the prices of all the wine, beers, everything is right here. And then the last thing, you've got your fridge right here, which has some drinks and also some snacks. So, let me show you the bathroom area. The last area I want to show you guys is this gorgeous outdoor bathroom. So we've got this luxurious bathtub behind me which will be perfect after a long day to relax with some bubble bath and wine. And then you've got your outdoor and you also have an indoor shower on this side. And then you've got the double feature zinc area. We cannot wait to spend the next few days in this beautiful villa and on this island. So we've just spent some time in our villa, we took a swim and now we are heading for lunch. So the restaurant we'll be going to is called Korakali and that's where we'll be having breakfast, lunch and dinner. So let's go show you guys.
After a satisfying lunch, we found ourselves inspired to explore the beautiful underwater world here at Fushifaru. They have a snorkeling spot called the Underwater Playground, and what's even more exciting is the ongoing reef project, which is dedicated to regenerate the coral reef. So let's jump right in. You can also experience this paradise by booking your dream vacation through us. We are so proud to introduce Travitude, our exclusive travel agency located in the Maldives. You can find all the information on our website which is linked in the description below. After a successful and adventureful day, we headed to dinner at Korakali, savoring a delightful meal accompanied by a glass of red wine. We ended the day by indulging in cocktails at the Funny Handy Bar, playing a game of pool and listening to the tunes of DJ Hambe. Good morning everyone. It's a beautiful day here in the Maldives. We've got some good weather. The sun is out. So what better way to start our morning than with a floating breakfast of course. So we've got a beautiful spread here. We've got some bread and donuts. We've got omelette and then some fruits as well. So we are going to enjoy our breakfast and then we've got a full day plan of excursions and we can't wait to show you guys around on this beautiful island. So we are off to enjoy our breakfast now and we'll see you guys later. just arrived on our private sandbank trip and guys this is so beautiful I can't think of anything better to do here while you are in the Maldives look at that beautiful setup we have there in the back with some fruit platters ice cold juice some water and we have our tanning chairs also in the back so I think we'll definitely go for a swim we are the only people on the sandbank it's so beautiful Since we've got such beautiful weather today we decided to make the most of it so after we did the sandbank excursion this morning we came to the water sports center we are thinking about doing the clear kayak 
and then after this we are going to the dive center to do the semi-submarine experience we've never done that so that is definitely something you need to add to your bucket list when you are visiting Pushifaru but let's go do some kayaking The underwater submarine experience at Fushifaru was amazing. Cruising through the ocean, we got a close-up view of colorful fish and vibrant coral reefs. The clear walls of the submarine gave us a front row seat to the underwater world. To our next activity for today. So here at Pushufaru they make sure to highlight the Maldivian culture. So every Friday they've got the life of a coconut experience so we are off to that now and then tonight it will be the Maldivian dinner and then also we are going to end the day with a Boduberu show. So we can't wait to show you guys the Maldives culture here at Pushifaru. producing coconut. So once the tree is matured we will see something like this but in color green coming out from the crown of the tree. That is called sap. We say coconut sap. Okay. A coconut flower. So this is a pod which holds the coconut flowers inside it. Okay. So before it blooms there's plenty of these stems. They stay inside the coconut sap and these little pods over here are the flowers. This is a fresh uh, pod where it has all the coconut flower inside it. The little tiny ones are the pods. Okay, I'm gonna take you uh, to see a closer look on this and also if you want like to hold it, it has a quite a good weight. Would you like to try? So this is the coconut. This is out. the coconut flower where it's the sap. So once naturally this cracks, the flower comes out and it starts blooming. So every every single stem of here, these carries thousands of baby coconut pods that will bloom over the time. And after one or two days, it will open up a little bit more. So they look really pretty. So the men will climb up a coconut tree like this and will cut the whole bunch of coconut flower, use it as a proposal bouquet to impress the girl. <laughs> will you marry me, you know, <laughs> at this way. So that brings a huge impression over to the guy and allows people to easily accept you in their family. So that was one another important reason why coconut flower was so important to the Maldives. And over some time, you know, all the coconut flowers fall and you see the coconut start growing. So at this stage, we call it Goboli. After immersing ourselves in the fascinating Maldivian culture, we decided to cap off our day with sunset drinks at the Tundi Bar. Bali, Bali! 
And that's a wrap on our Fushi Foro adventure. From indulging in floating breakfasts to unwinding on pristine sandbanks, we've truly absorbed every moment of this paradise. Stay tuned for the next chapter of our Maldives adventure. Until next time, see you guys soon and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.